Hi, and welcome back to Body by Right and Getting Fit the Right Way. I am Weldon Wright, and we're here to talk today about things that have to do with the back. We're going to be talking a little bit about the rhomboids this week. Uh, that is a little muscle that kind of comes in a diamond shape. There's a major and a minor. It attaches to the thoracic spine up around the T2 all the way down into the T5 and then the minors down under is a little bit smaller. Uh, but nevertheless, they're very important to anything that you do that pulls, that makes your scapula or your shoulder blade roll in and retract and or rotate. So the theme this week is going to be, if you're gonna grow, you gotta row. All right, so we are gonna be talking about row motions Rowing in the sense of rowing weights up into the body and, and taking them away from the body with rolling shoulders. So I'm going to demonstrate a little bit how that's done today. Looking forward to doing that for you. You know what? It's always a pleasure to come to you guys, talk to you. I'm so happy that you continue to read. I get great comments week after week about the things that you're learning, about the encouragement. I want to continue to encourage you. If you've ever gotten started and discouraged about something and quit, don't quit. It's always too soon to give up, but it's never too late to start. Let's just keep it going. I'm gonna show you some things coming right up. Once again, thanks for stopping by. All right, we are doing the rhomboids today, but you know what? The rhomboids are gonna be an assistant to the shoulder blades. That is all intact to the back in various different muscle groups. So we're gonna be talking about all those things for the next few weeks. I'm just gonna demonstrate a simple standing bent over dumbbell single arm row okay so it's going to be just a very basic exercise that will help you have good support in the rotation and the retraction of your shoulder blades which gives stability to your upper arm so it's very important for you to have that stability to your upper arm you don't want to just hang in there because it's weak and you get poor posture so the wrong ones are very important for that as well as it supports the other back muscles all right, step up next to your weight where your foot is right next to the dumbbell you're gonna be using on the floor. So get right next to it with your front foot. Your back foot is just straight back behind, kind of like you were doing a lunge uh, or a long step. So you're gonna reach into your knee, grab the weight, bend the knees, draw the hips down a little bit and reach into it with a rolled shoulder. Now. Just simply come back up and straighten up the back. Now you'll watch how my back stays straight from my hips up to my shoulders, and you just row it in. Now watch that shoulder roll forward. Now before I pull with my elbow, I'm gonna roll the shoulder back. So I rotate that shoulder back and then retract that scapula. Bring that shoulder blade back in. Now roll it back in and back. In and back. In and back. That works your rhomboids, that works your lats. We're going to get a whole lot more into these things. Hope this does some good for you. Read the article today. It's going to help you understand some things. Once again, thanks for stopping by Body by Right. Getting fit the right way. I'm Weldon Wright. See you next time.